welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a compression test on the 99 Civic here. Got a bit of a lag in the power right now when I'm accelerating, so we're going to do a compression test, check the pistons, make sure the rings are all good, and from there uh, we'll see where we're sitting. All right guys, let's get to it. All right guys, so first what we're going to do is we're going to take our 10 millimeter, we're going to take these four bolts off here just to gain access to the spark plugs. Pop your spark plug wires off. Now what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the distributor. Just like so. Then what we got to do, unplug your fuel injectors because you don't want your fuel to be pumping in. All right, for the spark plugs, you can actually grab a special spark plug socket. It's gonna be a 5 8 for this vehicle. And you got a little grommet inside your socket, which is gonna allow you to grab the spark plug. There we go. Now, when you're doing a compression test, you always wanna make sure your vehicle is at operating temperature. That way you've got all your parts that have expanded to the proper clearances and you're able to get an accurate reading. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our compression tester. This guy here, I'm gonna put a link down below just in the comments um, where I picked this up off uh, Amazon there just in case you guys wanna order something like this. Very basic kind of kit, allows different attachments for different vehicles, which is great. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our line, grab the size that we think it is, which is actually the one on the hose. Thread it in. Nice and snug. Grab your gauge. All right, if you're doing this by yourself, what you can do is you can leave the gauge to the side, um, go into the vehicle, um, or it's nice when you have two people, so you can ask the person helping you to go into the vehicle. All right guys, so what I just did now is I got my helper. He's gonna be inside the vehicle. What I'm gonna get him to do is I'm going to get him to put the throttle all the way to the floor. While it's all the way to the floor, I'm gonna get to turn the engine over about six or seven times, and then he's gonna stop. At that point, I'm gonna get my proper reading on the gauge. So here we go, I'll give you a show of what that's gonna look like. All right, turn it over six, seven times. So as you guys can see, I'm reading just about, uh, just over 210 there or I guess 210 at the time, at the time I was able to get the camera focused. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna now go to the next uh, cylinder there, and we wanna be within 10% um, of all our uh, numbers to make sure we have a healthy engine. All right, let's go uh, to the next one. All right guys, so we're gonna do uh, cylinder two right now, so we'll get him to turn over the engine it's about six times. Good. So you can tell there, we are sitting just below 210, which is still fine. So we're gonna move on to the next one. All right, so we're gonna do cylinder three now. All right, fire it up. Good. So we're sitting at 210 on this one, so that's good. So far, things are looking great. All right, guys, we're gonna do uh, number four now, last but not least. Ready? Yeah, go ahead. Good. All right, and we are reading just below 210, which is not bad at all. 
So we're just gonna put our spark plugs back in. You can kind of give it right now a good little check on them, see how they're looking, make sure they're not burnt, broken. These ones are all looking good. I did just replace them not too long ago. Now what I like to do is I like to always put the spark plugs in first with just the extension and I can do it hand by hand. This way I know that I'm not gonna be cross threading any of these spark plugs. I mean, the last thing you wanna do is cross thread one of these inside your engine. Will not be fun to get that fixed. So again, just do them all by hand first, better safe than sorry. And you can tighten these in. I usually just put them nice and snug. I'll list the uh, the torque spec for those that want the exact number. And then it's all reverse order. So I'll put our spark plug wires in first. Make sure you put them in the right spot. Reconnect our distributor. Our fuel injectors. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for the uh, compression test. So as you can tell by my numbers, uh, I was getting roughly around 210 PSI um, per cylinder. I'm well within my 10% per cylinder, which is absolutely fantastic. I did crank the engine over a bit more um, than what was necessary. Not a huge issue, it's kind of up to you. It is usually six to seven times. Um, I didn't see any problems whatsoever with the engine. I'm completely satisfied with it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out, allowed you guys to be able to uh, do your compression test if you ever need to get one done. All right guys, thanks for uh, watching the video. Hopefully you like, subscribe down below, leave some comments, always appreciate it. All right guys, take care.